Okay, good afternoon everyone. I was about to say good morning. It's actually not morning at all. This morning I had a bit of a lie-in because I was like, you know what? It's Monday. It's my day off. I'm gonna have this little extra hour in bed. I have to book into the gym, obviously just because COVID. So last night when I was like booking in, I'd normally on, on a Monday book in for like 10 o'clock because then I'm like, oh, I don't have to be up till like half nine. But last night I was like, yolo swag. I'm just gonna book for 11. And then of course I felt guilty about that extra hour in bed, but had a bit of a party filled weekend so i felt that i needed it but now it's like two o'clock because i'm such a procrastinator that like i've literally just been procrastinating up until this very point and i'm like i have so much to do today why did i do that but anyway i just thought today um i would film myself getting ready i'm not going anywhere i always just use monday as like my content day so like i'll normally just try and get like a few pictures in one day oh my god i'm like scraping the barrel with this this is just like a little conditioner for my eyebrows because yes i'm on a self-love buzz and i thought fuck it i don't wear a mask or i wear a mask all day so i can't wear makeup so i was like you know what yes i am gonna spend 55 euro on my eyebrows was it worth it absolutely no regrets okay i need my little mirror okay well i can't find the small mirror so we're just gonna have to be use the big one which i actually hate doing it really annoys me but yeah so just thought i would film this get ready with me because i just sometimes feel like i don't know what to talk about like i don't know what to talk about right now but i did put up a little question box because i always feel like that just helps me go on a bit of a rant and a ramble got my eyebrows laminated though absolutely obsessed i got them done by Stina collie i'll leave her handle here like if you're in dublin like honestly cannot recommend enough like hi Love. Anyway, let me get going on some questions because I just feel like I'm gonna talk absolute nonsense if not Where is the question mark? There it is. Okay. <coughs> I don't have corona. Okay, someone said any tips for building a brand because your insta is like a brand if you know what I mean Okay, so I actually watched a video because obviously I want to start a brand eventually I think you know, hopefully I'll be able to do that within the coming months I was watching all these YouTube videos one night on like best tips to build a brand and this one person's by the way I finally 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 bought a new foundation the other day I was like the time has come I don't know why in my head I was like it's 50 euro I don't wear makeup every day I'm not spending 50 euro on foundation it was 34 and then I just thought you know what fuck it I bought the little diamond gloss bomb because I love that lip gloss it was 18 I was like yellow swag add it to the bag oh my god that rhymed yellow swag add it to the bag Ooh. I was watching loads of YouTube videos one night on the number one tip that someone had for building a brand and this person basically was like the biggest thing with building a brand is like having your own personal brand image before you start a brand so being able to put like yourself and like i know some brands are like oh like don't put your face to your brand but like i don't know especially especially for me like i mean most of my customers at the moment anyway with the t-shirts and the tote bag is all of, like it's my followers so like they follow me but then like they want to buy my stuff but i know i think you know if you're trying to build up your own brand image because that's obviously how then you would build i know i feel like lately people on social media like you are a brand like yourself you're a brand so my best tips for that would just be to just be yourself and i feel like lately i definitely feel i literally tweeted about it last week i was like i feel so authentically myself like more than ever in my life i feel like there in the past few years like there's definitely been some things that i've like maybe like not posted on social media or just like being like 100 myself because i've been like oh what if people don't follow me for that or like oh what if people don't like that sorry this is really bright now is that too dark i don't fucking know but yeah also i don't know just certain people in my life oh my god okay there we go i just feel like certain people would be like oh don't post that blah 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 and like now i'm obviously not posting anything stupid but i just feel like i'm not like holding back from posting anything out of fear of being like people will unfollow me like i literally don't care if people unfollow me anymore i'm just like okay you don't like me that's fine that's actually grand i feel like i've eradicated the fear of like being like bleh they don't like me so i would just say be fearless and be yourself and then obviously establish like what you like as well because then once you do that it becomes easy to like build your brand and like keep going on building like, i know building your own brand is like building who you are as a person but like being able to portray that online so i think that would be my best tip is just be yourself and don't be afraid of what other people are going to think as hard as that is and also you know i feel like with the whole like losing followers thing and stuff and people unfollowing it's like people are you know people probably find me so fucking annoying sometimes especially lately because i'm really happy and i feel like people actually don't like seeing other people happy so i'd say like you know when i'm like posting myself being super happy on social media that's just annoying to some people and that's fine but i feel like let them clear themselves out but yeah i feel like i don't know that's it i would just say be consistent be yourself would be my best tips 
on building your personal brand. Name one thing that you couldn't live without. Oh God. <laughs> what am I gonna say for this? Probably fashion, probably clothes. But like, is that one thing? I don't know. Or else my dogs. Yeah, so maybe my dogs, but then do I have to choose one dog? I don't fucking know. Oh no, guys, I forgot to put the concealer on. I'm so like disorientated right now. Like what is going on? Okay, so I'm gonna go with my dogs as one thing I couldn't live without. Like I'm not gonna say an item of food or anything because I just feel like, I mean, obviously I couldn't go without food because then I would die. But like, I just feel like my dogs are more important to me than food. I feel like, how do people do their makeup on camera all the time and talking? I find it really hard to do that. I'm like, oh my God, am I just not a good multitasker? Like, I just don't know. Okay, anyways, what inspired your spiritual journey? Um, I actually am literally, my laptop is on the bed and I am uploading a video with all of that info in it. Yeah, it's like literally 30 minutes long. I had like 45 minutes of footage and I was like, oh my God, I actually hate myself. Just so long. But also I feel like it, like I even tried to edit it down. I was like, I want it under 30 minutes. Cause like, what the fuck? I just, I don't have the concentration to watch a video for 30 minutes. But like everything I was saying in it was like relevant. So I was like, okay, I'll just leave it all in. If people don't watch the full 30 minutes, that's fine. But it's all in there anyway. So I won't go into that because literally I'll probably just be rambling for like so long again. So I'll leave the link for that down below but it's on my channel now anyway it'll because it's like literally uploading now so it'll be up by the time this is up so all of that is in there have you ever had your tarot cards read um i've never had them actually no i had them professionally done in the randomest setting me and my friend went to uh the zoo project in ibiza when i was 19 we had been out the night before and like we were violently hung over like when i say violent like we were queuing for a taxi and like we met these two girls in the queue for the taxi rank and they were like oh like will we just share a taxi Taxi. oh my god this is so sad like pre-corona when you could just share a taxi with strangers whatever but we were just like oh well, we just share a taxi and then we were like chatting away to them and i was like oh my god like i am gonna get sick and i had to run to the nearest restaurant and just be like hi can i use your toilet and literally got sick and then like went back and you know they like, normally when you're hungover and then you get sick and then you're like okay fine i'll just have another drink and then i'll be fine again no couldn't we got a free drink on arrival for the zoo project and i was literally like i actually can't drink it so then because we weren't like really drinking at the zoo project we were like okay well we're here now like we may as well find something to do like and we just couldn't even dance we were just both so fucking in bits so we were just like i can't do anything but we were like okay we'll stay at least until like 1am so it's like okay like we've done it and then we found someone in ibiza who was like reading tarot cards i think it was either that or like a palm reading but like we literally paid to have this done in the middle of the zoo project in ibiza like what <laughs> i look back at that now i'm like that is the strangest thing to do when you're at a party in ibiza yeah i did that but like obviously i don't know like how accurate but although i say like you know because it was in a party setting but i remember like everything that they read i remember being like yeah like that makes sense to my life other than that i've never had them done professionally i actually have a deck of car tarot cards and sometimes i just pull a few and they normally actually do really relate a lot to my life so yeah i'm trying to learn how to read them myself i was like on my live recently like reading other people's like don't trust me to read your tarot cards i'm still trying to learn how are you doing honestly i'm doing so well like i feel so good lately i just feel like i don't know i've been like having a good time and like <laughs> You know, I feel like a few months ago, if I like went out and partied, like I feel like I would just be sad for a week. But now, like every time, even after like I party and stuff, I actually feel really uplifted and just like I really love. Yeah, I just feel like every time I like spend time with people and then I go out and have fun, like I never feel like sad. I'm genuinely in such a good place, and I feel like also that's so lovely of someone to ask how am I doing. I'm actually doing really well. So yeah, I just feel like I've obviously, and I think I said this in the like being your own best friend video i've obviously like you know cut ties with a few people um and then just like been spending more time with like my friends and like also making new friends and then just having like good times with good people but then also like i actually def definitely feel like because where i'm at mentally like i'm able to manifest more goodness into my life so even like career wise like instagram wise the t-shirts like all that stuff like i just feel like everything is going really well it kind of terrifies me sometimes because i'm like how is this happening? But like, I also feel like I deserve the happiness. So like, I'm just gonna take it and take every day as it comes. And you know what? Yeah, I'm not even gonna say if it ends, I've had a good run. It's not gonna end. I'm having a good time and it's only up from here. So yeah, I guess to answer that, I think my answer is I'm doing really well. <laughs> so thank you. It's so cute though. Like even someone actually said, not a question, just love how you're loving yourself right now and you should keep going, gal. I just love that. I just feel like it's so nice that like, people who are watching everything that I'm doing, I guess maybe like showing that I'm doing well so yeah that's so cute ah you guys are the cutest 
thank you <laughs> fave irish festival my fave irish festival okay so i always would have said body and soul like i literally my favorite festival always had been um and then i went to all together now the first year that it was on and it was actually so fucking spectacular but then i heard some people who went last year as well as and um, the year that i went said that like it wasn't as good as the first year and obviously then there was like loads of issues with traffic and stuff so i don't know because i've only been to all together now once i don't know and then also i feel like last year at buddy and soul like we all left and like it's always me and my friends favorite festival and like left when we got home and i like text into the group chat and i was like guys i just don't have the same high as i normally would after buddy and soul and then everyone was like it wasn't the same this year but i know this year they had planned to drop out of ep to be able to put more money into their own festival so i'm like maybe it would have been whopper again this year but like last year i was disappointed by it but i still would probably say body and soul is my favorite festival i just love it i think it's so magical so body and soul are all together now is what i'm gonna say but i also really want to try another love story i've never been there and i've never been to sessions because it's always on the same weekend as body and soul so i'd like to give those a go but like for for now, I'm going to say body and soul. And um, someone said, how do you constantly glow? That's cute. Do I? <laughs> I don't know. I guess like I think this relates to like the whole. Sorry. I think I have to concentrate to do my eyeliner. One sec. Okay. Apologies. I have to go and get my washing out of the line. Because my mom's like having a panic attack. Being like, today's the only sunny day. Get the stuff out in the washing machine. I need to put stuff on the line. But yeah, that's done. Okay. Finally back to this question. So someone said, how do you constantly glow? Such a compliment. Do I? I feel like you should see me on a Sunday morning when I'm hungover. But I don't know. How do I answer this? I guess... Honestly, I just you know I say it all the time, but I just feel like you glow from the inside and that's why like I don't ever think if I have ever called somebody ugly, I'm not talking about their looks. I'm talking about their personality because I also think an ugly personality just makes you kind of an ugly person and also I don't think anyone is like born with an ugly personality I think people are just hurt and then them being hurt and refusing to heal their own issues forces them to hurt other people which then makes them an ugly person I think so I don't know I feel like to constantly glow <laughs> my best advice would just be to work on yourself and just work on loving yourself and learning to love every single part of yourself because I also think like confidence is like you can see confidence in someone and I think it's so sexy not even just on me but i just think on other people when did i move this you can tell when someone is happy and like you know what they say like you glow different when you ha you're happy like that thing so yeah i and i don't think you can be happy 100 percent until you love yourself so my best tips on glowing would just be to learn to love yourself if i am glowing a lot lately i guess that's probably why i think i'm just actually as i said like, genuinely really happy i'm really happy with how everything in my life is like panning out at the moment obviously coronavirus isn't great and like yes i would love if clubs were open and yes i would love if i had some kind of stability and like plans on how the fuck my life is gonna go because i actually just don't know what i want anymore you know before corona i was like okay i should probably keep doing it but before covid i was like i'm moving to london like that's my plan i'm gonna get a job there blah 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 um and then a few months ago i was like no i'm going traveling i'm gonna go find myself and be that bitch now i'm just like well i moved to spain but then it's also like when the hell can i do that and then i was like okay maybe i'll just get a room here so yeah i just don't know <laughs> but like other than like not knowing i'm just trying to take literally every single day as it comes and just be totally in the present moment but also trying to save money but like i can't do that as soon as i get more money i'm just like i have more to spend so send help with that one how to glow just like learn to love yourself but also just learn to be totally totally in the present moment and i know that can be hard sometimes especially i feel like i'm obviously like in my mid-20s which like i've realized recently i'm definitely not still in my early 20s like i'm definitely mid-20s now because like i'm 24 but, like it's fine it's whatever but like it's hard to be in the present moment when you're like at this stage in your life because you're like oh everyone else is doing something you know people are moving away people are and i know obviously right now everything's so much harder to do but then when you're seeing other people doing it it's like how the fuck are, how are they doing this so yeah i think just to glow just learn to love yourself but also be in the present moment and make the most of every motherfucking moment witch vibes i feel like i don't really have witch vibes <laughs> i feel like you know if i was alive like in the medieval age ages with all my crystals and shit like i probably would have been burned at the stake i definitely feel like i'm also i'm such an independent woman not to like be like <laughs> but like i actually am like i feel like i am always have been like just so independent and i think that's also probably why i hated my relationship so much especially towards the end because actually probably from the start but like <laughs> 
hating. I just feel like I hate being told what to do and I hate someone telling me their opinion on something I'm doing when their reason for not liking it is their own insecurities. So like I definitely would have been burned at the stake. But I think I'm more spiritual vibes than witch vibes to answer that. Have you ever done psychedelics? I did truffles when I was in Amsterdam. Should I like be answering this on camera? I don't know. Fuck it. I did truffles in Amsterdam. I've never done anything else. The truffles were fun though but I was like literally sitting in the room uh, in my hotel. I was with my friend and I was like I am a liquid and then he was just like I need to watch how I met your mother and then like I was just like I'm a liquid and I am pink and I am purple and then he was just like I need to watch how I met your mother and like that conversation just like went on and then like I eventually fell asleep and I woke up at like half eight that morning and he was just like how I met your mother like sitting with the laptop open being like how I met your mother like watching how I met your mother and I was like you're not sacked and he was like no I had a fun time I just thought it was a liquid so that's good I've never done acid would maybe love to try it someday but like you know to do any kind of psychedelics I feel like you have to be in like a good mindset and with like the right people before you do it because otherwise you're just gonna have a bad trip and like no one wants that maybe someday i'll do acid and have a spiritual awakening but like i feel like i also don't really need it like obviously i, I think i would like to try it just for the experience but like i feel like i'm having a spiritual awakening without doing psychedelics so like i like would also love to do an ayahuasca retreat retreat but i've also heard of like people like literally never being the same after so like kind of terrifying vibes because i would like to remain as who i am if you know what i mean <laughs> then the same girl said dude love i fucks with your vibe in three different question box I love you too. <laughs> Tips for D appointments. If this is like on how to get them, like I literally am the worst person. Like you cannot ask me. I don't know. Especially now. Like honestly, I feel like if the clubs were open, I would be so good at this. I'd just be like make flirty eyes on the dance floor. I feel like that's the only way I know how to flirt. But like right now, I'm just like, no, no, <laughs> no. I don't know how to do it. I literally am just like, how are people finding these men? Because I just don't know. Sorry, completely lost my train of thought there. Yeah, so I mean, if you're asking me how to get them, I don't know. I did actually, guys. <laughs> I downloaded Tinder again, okay? Oh, Cause if you watched my stories a few weeks ago, I was like, oh my God, I downloaded Tinder and it, it lasted 10 minutes and then I deleted it. And then like last week I had it for like three days and I also got Hinge as well. And then, I don't know, I was talking to this guy on Tinder. He seemed fine, cute, whatever. Oh my God, I feel really bad. People watch this. I don't like talking about it in case people watch it, but I don't know. I just was like talking to this guy and he seemed like cute and then nice. And then yeah, he was like, oh, can I wear your clothes and stuff? And at first I was like, yeah, so into that. Wear my clothes, amazing. Amazing, stunning but then I was like oh my god like, I don't know if this is getting a bit weird like because he kept asking could he wear my clothes and could I do his makeup and I was like yeah, like so into that like really want to find a boy who will let me paint his nails and get his nails done and like wear eyeliner like that's my vibe I fuck with it I love boys who wear like girls clothes etc but I don't know for me I was just like okay let me get to know you before I'm just like yeah wear my clothes so then I was just like mm. he's also vegan too so like I don't know oh, I feel so bad if he watches this he doesn't watch me who the fuck do I think I am why do I think I'm so important I'm not and then on his Hinge, I don't know, Hinge was freaking me the fuck out. Like people were just like, the way Hinge works is like people can reply to your pictures and like things you said and all. And like one of my things on Hinge was like, like what are you attracted to? And I was like someone who's self-destructive or something like that. And then some guy like replied this like mad, like psychological response to it. And I was just like, I am confused. And then another reply I got on Hinge, like some guy was like, oh, you've no idea how vanilla I feel compared to you. And I was not really a compliment. I didn't take it as one. Another one was like, Grania, have you ever f uh, considered entering the world's most lovely gal competition? And I was just like, get me off this app. I'm going to puke. That was that because the only reason I got them was because I was like, <laughs> lately I've kind of been like, mm, I'm feeling a little bit emotionally available again. So I feel like, yes, am I ready to like go on a date? I think I am. I was like, yeah, okay, fuck it. Like how else are you supposed to meet people these days? Because you can't fucking flirt with them in a bar from two meters away, can you? There's no clubs. And like, as I said, the only way I know how to flirt with people is on the dance floor being like, <laughs> I'm sexy. I can't do that now. So I've actually just come to a conclusion. I think I'm going to be celibate until the clubs reopen because that's the only way I know how to get a D appointment. I did kiss someone, but like, <laughs> should I be sharing that on the, on the internet? I don't know. I don't care. Anyone who's hurt by it probably shouldn't be watching this video anyway. So <laughs> there's the tea. I think that's that. But other than that, I don't know. Tips for D appointments. If you meant not how to get them and just like tips in general, what would I say? Watch that video that Cardi B posted about... <laughs> 
not getting with guys with stanky dicks so watch that on her thing no but in all seriousness i guess just know your boundaries and um, know what you want and know what you're comfortable with and um, know that you can change your mind know when to say stop know what you like as well i think something to remember with like d appointments is it shouldn't be one-sided pleasure it should be two sides to it so like make sure your like pleasure isn't being overlooked and that like you're being looked after as well if that kind of makes sense um any tips for growing your youtube starting your insta being more confident on social media i think i kind of answered this earlier like honestly my best tip with this is just literally to just be yourself like honestly no matter like what you think people are thinking of you like the thing is is no matter what you're doing people aren't gonna like it there's gonna be people out there that don't like it so i think it's just about like accepting that and just being like okay well i enjoy what i'm doing so just going ahead and doing it anyway um and then just consistency as well so keep posting keep doing it once you love the content i feel like it doesn't matter about likes or followers and all that jazz so just like genuinely just do your thing that is my best tip with it and i feel like it's definitely so much harder now to actually grow because obviously instagram algorithm is a bit fucked but get on tiktok tiktok is the place to be shit blows up there what is your fondest memory this is really hard because i have a shit memory but like i think one of my fondest memories is uh we when i was in vietnam we stayed on this little island for the night and we went skinny dipping and we then had like a big feast in the dining hall and there was just like so many different people from different places there and we were, like made friends with these guys from spain it was just so nice so i think that's one of my fondest memories probably asia as a whole that's why i'm always like i really want to go back there do you think honey is vegan because i'm vegan and i still eat honey on my bowls i literally answered this like two weeks ago on my instagram no you're not a bad vegan if you eat honey i think it's so dependent on the individual person i personally eat honey i try to buy it locally because i actually read somewhere that it's actually good for the bees the local bees for you to eat honey i know some people won't agree with me but i personally do it and also if you suffer with hay fever which i do terribly if you eat local honey and um, because of the pollen like in the area like, because the bees like pollinate it apparently if you eat local honey um it helps your hay fever so yeah i eat honey you're not bold i mean the thing is is like veganism is a spectrum and i feel like people just make it so strict it shouldn't be strict it's about the fact that you're actually making the effort in general someone said how do you edit your pics i have a whole video on that it's on my youtube channel i have how i take them and how i edit them but i use lightroom and sometimes facetune so watch the video and the last question how to make Make friends i feel like i make friends really easily but also sometimes i make the wrong friends so like i have to be careful of that i don't know i feel like just meet people on instagram as well um hang around with mutual friends i don't know i feel like this is something i've never really had an issue with because i'm such a like overshare and just tell everyone my life when i meet them for the first time so i don't know i feel like people just trust me yeah but i would say just hang around with friends and then you'll get to know friends of friends also i don't know like instagram yeah i think that's it i feel like again just be yourself around people like and then i feel like you just attract the right people into your life but yeah i think that's it okay makeup is pretty much done now i am gonna do my lips though so no i'm not gonna do my lips because i need to do my hair and shit so yeah also this has been really long but like also kind of fun so like it wasn't boring oh my god okay thank you for watching this video i will leave a link to my tote bags in the description please buy them support your local gal i think that's it um i'm gonna try to stay consistent with youtube because yeah okay bitches peace out <laughs>